Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about the top seven programming languages of 2021. And also, if you enjoy this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give that the thumbs up, and join the Avalex family. Let's get on with the video. So in today's video we're going to take a look at those all-important seven programming languages, in my humble opinion, in 2021. Stay tuned till the end of the video and I'll reveal the one language out of the seven which I would choose personally if I had to start my programming career again. JavaScript is one of the most simplest and easiest languages that was actually developed in less than a week by Brendan Eich. The programming language has always taken off and it still remains one of the most popular languages because it runs the web. And now we have amazing frameworks like Vue, Angular and React that allow us even more power within that language to build some of the world's greatest applications. JavaScript is easy to pick up, easy to learn, and a lot of fun to develop it. And of course, employers like to see strong JavaScript skills because it's highly likely they have an online front end that they have built and you will need to be able to adapt and change it. The next language is C Sharp. And with C Sharp, it's actually used on backend architecture. It's got great frameworks and documentation for microservice architectures, which I have a video on. And also, what's really great is that the language is open. It's very easy to use. It's incredibly fast and it allows for scalability natively. For example, you will have the ability to create native Android and iOS applications and even web-based applications using Wasam. So this is definitely the future. The next language is Python. Python is used in a plethora of applications, including those Facebook and Instagram applications that you guys have got with the OpenCV and OpenCV does all the calculations around imagery and identifying facial recognition and so forth and all these algorithms are pre-programmed and one of the most popular languages to write with OpenCV is Python. Python is also incredibly functional but it is a multi-paradigm language and what's really great about it is its robustness, its scalability and again just like C Sharp it's multi-platform so that with that language, not only is it kind of easier to learn, but also it's very adaptable and it's very, very fast and offers you a world of capabilities when it comes to mathematics and algorithms and image data analysis. It's also used heavily within the AI industry as well. And the next language is PHP. PHP has a very low learning curve. It's a nice language and it's like the JavaScript of the back end world. PHP is very easy to code in, very easy to get along with. And also it still runs some of the largest application suites in the world. For example, Magento and also Shopperware. And it also has the ability to run natively. It's more like the JavaScript of the back end world. So ideally, PHP is a really great option if you want to get into back-end development and there are plenty of jobs out there that need good PHP developers. The next programming language is C++. Now C++ is rather a very steep learning curve. However, you can build some incredibly robust applications and C++ has been used in product-based applications for many, many years. It may not be as scalable or as easy to use as let's say C Sharp, but what it does bring to the table is an incredible amount of speed and a fairly good and sturdy base to start building applications on. But do be warned, there's a big learning curve for C++. Haxi is not a very well-known language, but Haxi is absolutely incredible. The Unreal Engine that's built upon most games is actually written in Haxi. Haxi is a transpilable language, so instead of thinking of it as a language itself, it transpiles into multiple languages. You write Haxi once, and that can be transpiled into C Sharp, Java, C++, Rust, and many more and that language is very flexible. So Haxi is like one level up, where it's trying to get you to write something once in one type of syntax and then transpile that into other syntaxes. This makes it an incredibly powerful language and some very top companies have been using Haxi 
over the years with their products. It's a very scalable product, it's amazing, and if you haven't seen the Unreal Engine, I recommend you check it out because that was all based on Haxi. One of the common questions that I get asked about Haxi is, does it transpile perfectly? Well, syntactically, yes, but feature-wise, no. For example, a language may have a certain feature that is not available to another. For example, the file system or a MySQL driver or a database driver that may not be available in, let's say, a front-end language or it is available in a back-end language. So really, Haxi is more based around features, but the actual syntax of Haxi will transpile correctly into all of those languages, making it very robust and it saves you having to learn multiple syntaxes. The next programming language was also written by the number one programming language in the world, which was Brendan Eich. He wrote JavaScript and he also wrote Rust. Now the reason why Rust is up and coming is because it's a language centrally focused around security. It has a very steep learning curve and that is the big warning on it. But when you know Rust, it's incredibly functional, a lot like the Go language. And Rust can be used for machine learning. It's mostly used around security. And also because it's already had Brendan Eich's backing on that, who's made the number one language in the world, which would be JavaScript. This one is definitely a goer if you're prepared to invest a lot of time in learning that language. I promised at the start of this video I would reveal the one language that I would learn at the beginning of my career if I could do it over again, and that would be JavaScript. It's already number one on the list, but JavaScript I didn't learn initially. I learned ActionScript in, in the very old days, so JavaScript would have been my preferred language, and it's so much fun, and it will teach you a lot about the simplicity in programming. All right, guys, so I hope you've really liked this video. If you have, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a nice big thumbs up. And I have some great content to follow on from this, such as the Programming 101 and also the JavaScript Essentials course to get you tucked into everything you need to start your career as a programmer.